Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. As you can see, a brand new event has come upon us and it's almost Cheryl Gnome's birthday. It's just a few days away. Uh, maybe of this time, by the time I recorded this video, and it might be just one day away. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, as you can see, there are a lot of banners going front and back just right beside Basara promoting Cheryl Gnome's birthday and of course my cross frontiers 10th anniversary and of course Cheryl Gnome's brand new costume um, the Crimson Scarlet Queen that is also used for the upcoming Ichiban Kuji prize for Cheryl Gnome so if you can see let's go to that banner so yeah um, alright so before those banners there is this as well so if you guys have the cash and you do invest uh, money into buying singing stones for the game, it is currently on a discount um, from today or rather yesterday the 20th of November uh, all the way to the 2nd of December 2018. You can actually purchase two uh, discounted packs as usual. So as you can see, uh, you can pay 1,800 yen for 500 singing stones or you can pay um, 3,500 yen for 1,000 singing stones or you can buy both of them if you have the money to do so and of course uh, support uh, Uta Macross uh, or Macross franchise in general um, through this game. Then of course you have all these banners that you can see the ones here. This one is for the upcoming Ichiban Kuji. You can see Sharon Gnome's figuring um, displayed there. And of course you have the 3D animated or 2D illustrated version of Sharon Gnome wearing the set costume um, for Uta Macross current event. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty pretty sexy costume. We're gonna take a look at it because uh, that's what we're all about here in the gacha video. We're gonna take a look at the brand new plate to see whether it's actually worth all your saving, uh, saved up singing stones or your uh, real life money in buying these singing stones to pull this gacha just for this episode plate. So guys, let's go into the gacha tab and take a look at the brand new banner for Cheryl Gnome. Alright, so... First off, let's take a look at the episode plate first. Uh, here we go. So they're gonna try and entice you to purchase the uh, singing stones to pull for this gacha. So 3,245 total value in terms of score. So it focuses on soul and of course nothing else. Then it's center skill. Your unit's soul increases by 90% up so 90% up is fantastic so just like what this um, current event needs um, Sayonara no Tsubasa is a song that really requires the soul factor in your episode plates so that's why this plate is designed this way um, so far it's looking pretty good although the total score is a bit on the mid range um, so I would say it's pretty okay so far um, active skill um, for 10 seconds, your score is increased by 100% up, so it's a pretty standard score boosting active skill. So far, both center skill and active skill are looking good for Sharon Gnome. Um, life skill, however, at the 25 second mark for 10 seconds, uh, yeah, you will have an uh, easier time, you know, tapping notes. Um, yeah, so... For its life skill, I would say it's pretty okay, considering that it has a 10 second duration. Um, 25 second mark is kind of early, I don't know. Maybe there are some songs that are very difficult at the beginning. So you can use Sharon Gnome's episode plate to help you get through those uh, tough notes, I suppose. Um, if, you have, if you recognize any songs that have difficult beginning portions of the song itself. Uh, so yeah. So the last one, basically, it doesn't come with any special notes, but overall, I would say Cheryl Gnome's plate is a pretty awesome center skill, uh, high score challenge episode plate. So if you really, really want to toss in your singing stones for this, I would say go ahead. Um, you can actually try and uh, overdo it yourself if you have the extra money. But let's take a look at the rest of the episode plates that are involved with this gacha. I would say this one here, it's a no-go. So this one is a pretty decent one, so 
Uh, I would say it's okay because it, it's more of a mission clearing episode plate since his active skill is like 7 seconds combos do not break. You know that kind of thing and of course his life skill is like 40 second mark, 12 seconds score booster by 50% mark. So it's a, a bit of a meh. It's a pretty okay plate, uh, not the best out there. Then let's take a look at the rest. So we have this as well. This is an older plate so that's why the total value is pretty low. So I would say so far the main episode plate for uh, Sharonome is the only thing that's worth out of this whole entire gacha. Uh, maybe except for this particular plate, I kind of like this because Elto gets screamed at by, <laughs> you know, um, Osma. Yeah, the Osma's name almost slipped my mind. I was like, Ranka's brother's name, Ranka's brother. It's not Brera. It's not Brera. So it's uh, it's uh, uh, uh. Ozma, okay, so yeah, that's that's what what was in my mind processing his name. It, it, I I kind of blanked out about who uh, what's his name. Um so <laughs> yeah, so Shadow Nose Plate is the only thing that seems very interesting out of the entire pool right now. Um so yeah guys, I am only going to do one single template pool for this gacha. I am definitely not gonna throw my money into it. Uh, I would like to have uh, another good blue color center skill episode plate, but I do have uh, one of the older mid tier episode plates for I would say um, score boost a uh, high score challenges. So let's go all the way down. Uh, no, I'm gonna change it because I do have. We can make it easier. Oops. So I'm just going to show you guys what I mean. I do have one of the better ones right now. Um, which is Kaname's, Kaname and Messer's episode plate. I think most of us would probably know this plate by now. Um, if you played the game long enough, you have seen probably a lot of people having this episode plate. So it's this one. So yeah, so 3141. It is a pretty old episode plate. So therefore the total score is kind of low. Unit's total is um, boosted by 30% up, so it only focuses on that diva that's equipped a little bit. Active skill for 10 seconds, your heart score is boosted by 100% up, so it's pretty much the same as Sharon Gnome's active skill. It's just that Sharon Gnome has a better center skill, uh, yeah, and probably the life skill is better than Kaname's plate as well because Kaname's life skill is just a where when your life drops below 35%, it recovers 18% of your HP. And yeah, so no special notes. So Sharonome's play is definitely looking better than this current one, which is the one of the better blue episode plates out there for center skill use um, for high score challenges. So if you do have enough singing stones or money to actually try and obtain this episode plate, it is a plate um, that is pretty decent to get. Um, yeah, but sadly to say, anything else within this gacha is kind of like a downer. There really isn't anything else worth getting. Maybe even, maybe you can try and aim for Kaname's episode plate. Uh, it is available in sight. Um, you, if you're wondering which one I'm talking about, let me just show you guys which one. Because one of our members in Macross Space Time The Culture actually uh, managed to pull it out. So let's see. Um, if only I can search by Diva. Oh yeah, maybe I can. So let's see, Kaname. So Kaname. Okay, it should be here. Yeah, so um, if I'm not wrong, I think it's this one. Yeah, she pulled this. So I remember actually pulled out this episode of plate. So what's so fantastic about this one is because of this. The item note is at 15. It's not the highest right now. Makina is definitely higher than Kaname at this point in time. Makina's uh, item note is of 20 points. While Kaname's highest value is actually 15. So yeah, she did manage to pull this out from uh, Sharonome's brand new gacha. So I guess these are the two episode plates that you can look forward to to try and obtain. Um, if you are tossing in your singing stones, uh, you know, bravely. So anyway guys, let's do this. One template pool. Uh, the video has been dragged on a bit long because of all the explanation and stuff, but that's fine. Um, it's kind of a necessary information to keep you guys in the loop of um, making sure that you don't end up wasting your real life money 
uh, if you're planning to purchase the singing stones or maybe you um, you can just purchase the discounted packs and keep for your favorite divas uh, gachas whenever they come around the corner so let's do this let's not delay this any further i think i have said more than enough Okay, here we go guys. So one oh dear lord. So our bad luck streak is still kind of ongoing. We've got three red boxes, that's fine. Oh okay, we got a rainbow box, so that's okay. We do have three more red boxes, so hopefully those three boxes do evolve. Uh if not at least give me the exclusive plate. Oh I like this. I like where this is going. <laughs> so we do have this plate fully evolved um, so unlocking secret boards for it is fantastic as well alright so no evolution for this one Ooh, do I have this evolve? I don't know maybe I do we'll, we'll find out at the end of the gacha pool ok so here we go our 5 star plate and I got the crappy Cheryl Gnome episode plate so hmm <laughs> oh well uh, it was bound to happen, I think. <laughs> See, even Ozma is like shocked. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Uh... Oh, wait. I I've never gotten it before? Okay, so we do get to see um, Sexy Elto evolve. Um... <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't expect I didn't have this at all, so that's kind of surprising. Um... Okay, but I don't think I will have any use for this episode play other than effect with uh, costume unlocking. So I will definitely not fully power up this 5 star plate because it's definitely not worth my resources anymore. Um, I'm pretty glad for the 5 star plates or rather the 4 star plates that we've gotten. Um, it helps unlock secret boards because I do want to try and aim for my very first uh, plus 20 luck episode plate from the gachas itself. Um, it's gonna help greatly with all the ticketing events and all that kind of stuff. Anyway guys, that's it for the gacha video. I think we've uh, heard and seen more than enough uh, times from all my past gacha videos um, what to expect and probably I think some of you probably at this point of time would have understood by now which plates are probably very important to look for when it comes to deciding to pull a gacha banner or not. So guys, if you're still unsure, unsure of yourselves, you can always ask me on the Macross FaceTime The Culture Facebook group or you can always ask me on any of my gacha videos um, that you have watched, uh, re-watched and maybe um, trying to find some information and still can't decide on certain things. Always comment down in the video below and look for me. I will try my best to help you out uh, as soon as possible when I'm free. Uh, yeah, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hit la la, la do hit that like button if you like what you see in here. If you do not like what you see in here, you know where to hit next. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet uh, for more contents just like this, or maybe you can enjoy whatever else I do uh, besides full time across on my channel itself. So until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next full time across gacha video. Bye!